Hello there, welcome back to my views and news views. I have a complete situation report from Gondar front for you. Luckily, we are in touch with people on the ground. What happened last night, from which direction ENDF tried to enter Gondar? Where is Ethiopian National Defense Force now? Where are Fano fighters? Where did fighting happen last night? In the last 12 hours, uh, what is the role of Gondar elders? Are Gondar elders mediating between uh, Fano fighters and Ethiopian National Defense Force? Uh, we have details for you in this video. You can see Gondar on this map, the city which is, which was under a Fano a control, uh, and Fano around three days ago showed complete control of Gondar. Then Ethiopian National Defense Force decided to advance towards Gondar from where? From Valleka. You can see Valleka here, viewers. Uh, Valleka and to the north of Valleka uh, is this road. This is Dansha to Valleka road. Ethiopian National Defense Force members, they uh, moved along this road. Uh, Arbaba and they crossed Valaka. It means that uh, ENDF, Ethiopian National Defense Force, they have made some progress in terms of uh, uh, clearing or bypassing Valaka. Either they are in control of Valaka or they have bypassed Valaka. Because fighting is not in Valaka. Fighting is to the south of Valaka. Uh, let me show you again Valaka uh, and uh, to the north of Valaka two roads. This one which is uh, Valaka to Dansha road and this one which is Valaka to Debark road. So from Valaka, uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force members uh, crossed or they bypassed Valaka. Yesterday's fighting was, uh, last night's fighting was to the south of Valaka. Where did the fighting happen? Uh, let me show you uh, Zobal Resort on this map, which will uh, clarify several things for you. Here, uh, to the east of this mountain is uh, this resort called uh, Zobal Resort. Now you can see on this map Zobal Resort here you can see. And uh, to the west of the resort you can see this main road. This is Valaka to Gondar Road. Fighting which happened uh, uh, last night was around this resort, around a mountain. Which mountain? Let me show you the mountain now. This is the mountain. Uh, this is the mountain uh, where fighting happened last night. Somewhere here is resort, Zobal Resort, and to the west of Zobal Resort is this mountain. Name of this mountain is Ganath Mountain, viewers. So you can see mountain is very strategic because uh, to the east of the mountain is this road which uh, then goes further into Gondar city. You can see mountain is at the entrance of Gondar city. You can say Ganath Mountain it is called. So, when ENDF members entered Gondar city, Fano fighters were already in control of this town, uh, this, this mountain, long mountain. Uh, here you can see uh, this mountain uh, and you can see this road almost uh, hugging this uh, mountain uh, in eastern direction. So, Ethiopian National Defense Force members try to take control of this strategic mountain from Fano fighters. Ethiopian National Defense Force members managed to reach somewhere here uh, near uh, the Zobal Resort. Fighting erupted, but uh, the last report which we received indicates that 
Pano fighters are still in control of this Ganath mountain. Uh, so wh where is Ethiopian National Defense Force based now? ENDF is based obviously uh, uh, somewhere here. Uh, uh, Zobal Resort uh, 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 area, not inside Zobal Resort, but in the vicinity of Zobal Resort. And uh, secondly, uh, ENDF is based close to Debre uh, Birhan Selassie Church. Debre Birhan Selassie Church is uh, to the east of uh, uh, Gondar uh, Resort, Zobal Resort. So we can sum up that so far, Ethiopian National Defense Force has managed to enter Gondar. This is the mountain for which fighting is ongoing for the control of which. ENDF is based somewhere here and here. Here is uh, Zobal Resort and somewhere here is the Debre Birhan Selassie Church. Uh, ENDF is trying to take control of this mountain because if the mountain is under Fano control, ENDF cannot move deep into the city. If ENDF goes deep into the city, its supplies will be cut off here. That is why and here too, two roads you can see uh, to the east and west of the mountain. Let me show you clearly. You can see two roads, one to the east and one to the west. So mountain in between. That is why it is a very strategic place. If one of fighters are here, it means they can easily hit the uh, ENDF supplies along the two roads. That is why we saw intense fighting for the control of this mountain. Pano fighters reportedly in control of the mountain, but things can change. Uh, so far, Ethiopian National Defense Force is based uh, to the east of this road, you can say. This road, to the east of this road, somewhere here and uh, somewhere here. You can see Debre Birhan, Selassie Church too, which I was mentioning. So, ENDF is based in the outskirts of the city. Uh, now, let me show you the entire city. You can see, this is entire Gondar city. And what I am showing you fighting is uh, here, here, entry point, around the mountain, around uh, resort, uh, Zobal resort, and uh, uh, around Debre Birhan Selassie church, where fighting is not ongoing, but here reportedly Ethiopian National Defense Force is based. Somewhere here, ENDF is based, it means. So, this is the situation from uh, Gondar front. Any signs of uh, uh, talks between Gondar, uh, Fano and Ethiopian National Defense Force? Reportedly, uh, the elders engaged. They tried to talk to Ethiopian National Defense Force members. But ENDF members told Gondar elders that they had uh, orders from the higher command, from the high command that uh, they should take over Gondar at any cost, that Gondar must come under the control of Ethiopian National Defense Force. That is why no talks could start. But Gondar elders are trying to talk, talk to ENDF members. So far, no success. What about Fano fighters? Uh, how? What about locals? Well, since fighting is uh, in northern part of the city, in the outskirts, so far entire city is not involved. All uh, youths are not involved, but uh, Fano fighters are supported by youths. They, they are supported by unarmed youths too. Uh, these unarmed youths have their family weapons. Some have been given weapons by Fano fighters. But overall, we can say people are supporting Fano fighters. Though it's too early to say, because uh, we'll see public support for Fano. Otherwise, once ENDF gets deep into the city, ENDF is not deep into the city so far. It is just on the outskirts of the city where Fano fighters are trying to stop them. If Ganath Mountain falls to the Ethiopian National Defense Force, then we could see rapid movement of 
ENDF deep into the city and then we could see start of urban combat. There was urban combat last night, uh, but it was small scale urban combat around the mountain, around Zobel Resort. Uh, I think they bypassed Valaga. Uh, it seems they bypassed Valaga. Either they bypassed Valaga or Valaga is under their control. It's it, difficult to say. I'm trying to confirm, by the way. Uh, if, if ENDF manages to take control of Ganath Mountain, it enters Gondar city, then we could see the role of Gondar people. Will they take to the streets? Will they block main roads? Uh, that we'll see in coming hours. So far, we can say ENDF has made some progress. It has entered Gondar from a northern side, but a long way to go. Gondar city, around 80 to 90 percent, around 80 percent of Gondar city is still under a Fano control. We'll try to keep you updated viewers. Uh, thank you for watching.